Right, for more on this, we're joined now by High Health CEO, Prof. Ramnik Alwalia. Uh, Prof, good evening and thank you very much for your time. Three cases now having been confirmed in South Africa. Uh, previous two cases were of males who had no history of travel. This particular one in Limpopo is a Swiss tourist uh, who is visiting the country. Uh, those circumstances, do they make any difference as far as uh, what we need to do now in terms of uh, our control of the disease? No, absolutely, uh, Tabo. Thank you very much for having me, and good evening to everyone. Uh, Tabo, um, first of all, monkeypox is not, not as contagious as COVID-19 is, and I think monkeypox is not an airborne disease. Uh, and what the, the MEC was saying is correct. It's, it's a disease that spreads mostly from a physical contact predominantly uh, and a prolonged physical contact uh, where you have a body fluid which is infected with the monkeypox, which is predominantly because of the rash or the fluid that accumulates un, um, under the skin gets exposed to another individual. And that's a very important point because um, at, at least we are not battling an airborne disease like we're battling COVID-19. But what worried us was the first two cases because with no history of travel, which clearly says that there was a kind of a small community transmission that's already happened in South Africa. And that's bound to happen because uh, our, our borders are open. Um, we have a huge bilateral trade with Europe and US, where predominantly it's been causing havoc or probably where the cases have been far more rising comparative to our own continent called Africa. And so, yes, I mean, there is an element of community transmission. Uh, good thing it's a milder disease for now. Um, its fatality rate is about 3 to 6%, still high compared to even COVID-19 now. But uh, it affects, again, as any viral disease, to mostly older, elderly people. Uh, pregnant women needs to be careful. Um, uh, people who are living with comorbidities needs to be like any other viral infection, exactly how uh, we preach the COVID-19. So I think, yes, a small concern, but no panic at all. Yeah. Uh, the the, the uh, MEC is saying <coughs> it's a mild disease, as you put it, does not require hospitalization, uh, but just isolation. Is that correct? So it, 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 it does it uh, go away by itself? Is there treatment that is required for it? So I think, you know, uh, monkeypox, uh, uh, if, we, if we understand, it's from a family of a very dangerous disease called smallpox. Uh, and we eradicated smallpox very successfully as humans over fighting. And smallpox probably has been a single disease that has killed many more humans ever lived on uh, in the history of diseases when we discuss or pandemics killing humans. Uh, but it was eradicated in 1968. But since 1968, what we have stopped is vaccination of smallpox. So age group of people who are below 50 years or 60 years have not been vaccinated with smallpox. And that's giving birth to a virus very similar from the same family as smallpox called monkeypox. And now because of its mutation, without any resistance coming from a human body, this virus is now mutating. Now the mutations are in more in increasing in transmissibility from one human to the other, but not in terms of virulence. And the virulence is confined still to about three to six percent deaths. A three to six percent death is still a big number. Um, though in, 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 in healthy individuals, it's a milder disease, it remains milder. And so far, we haven't seen fatalities to the level we were anticipating from a virus like a monkeypox. But people need to be careful. Um, uh, but at this moment, yes, uh, home remedies. What we are going to be seeing with if the outbreaks becomes more is that the smallpox vaccine is very effective uh, against even for prevention as well as treatment. In fact, the, the data of scientific data shows that if you can give a ring vaccine, so it means all the contacts of the individual who's been tested uh, monkeypox positive, if given a ring vaccine of smallpox, uh, within the first four to five days shows absolutely therapeutic means uh, that the infection further reduces to extremely mild, which means um, not only the vaccine is preventative, but also a kind of a curative uh, in that. So this disease has been known to us. We actually even have antivirals around it for it. So we, we know how to crack this disease or treat this disease. Considering it's very viral, it's very uh, mild right now, very few cases, almost negligible cases in South Africa. No panic, no need for ring vaccinations. 
But these are alternative things that we know and we can immediately put in place to immediately curb this outbreak. We know it's giving Europe a little bit of a problem, maybe some instances even wreaking havoc in terms of the numbers uh, of the cases being reported there. Um, what do we need to do to prevent that situation happening here in South Africa? I mean, the, the MEC, for example, pointing out to things that we, we were already doing during the time of COVID-19, like the wearing of masks, good uh, clean hygiene of hands, and so on and so forth. Are those things particularly helpful? Contact tracing is another thing that uh, uh, the, the, the department is obviously putting in, in place. Uh, will, will this certainly help us in terms of the control of the spread of this virus? But Tabo, you're absolutely right. I think uh, the first part is education. What the news channels like yourself are doing is making sure this information is reaching to the public. Uh, the people who are more vulnerable are the healthcare workers, uh, the cleaning staff in hotels uh, who are exposed, uh, uh, cleaning staff in residences, uh, where, where congregations of people are, uh, because it spreads through body fluid, you know. So, so and the, the important part is that the rash that develops with the fever, because that's a major sign the fever, body ache, headaches, like a normal viral, but followed with the rash. The rash eventually, like a chicken pox, if you know, develops pox on your body. And when the pox breaks, the fluid is very, very infectious. Now, the eruptions are mostly seen on the face and in the mouth. So kissing, a saliva touch, um, it's in the genital area, so sex. So these are very high in close physical contact where the one body fluid can touch the another body and spread. And that's, I think... What we are seeing in Europe is, is exactly what we need to be careful in South Africa is avoiding a physical contact with individuals showing a rash at this moment or showing rash with fever uh, because it is a possibility in a season where we have seen an outbreak of monkeypox where the virus has seemed to mutate it and seems to be 10 times more transmissible compared to the existing uh, monkeypox because it's been with us for a long time. So people need to be careful about in physical contact with somebody with a rash. Report the rash and fever very quickly to a healthcare worker. The Department of Health, as I speak, has clearly trained all its nurses, its doctors, the health clinics on this disease so that the diagnosis can be very quick. Our laboratories are very equipped to diagnose this test very quickly. Again, isolation, contact tracing of all the contacts once the case is detected, like exactly the case in Limpopo, with all the three contact traced very, very quickly. In fact, more will follow once more contact tracing will continue. And then isolating those people or watching their symptoms. And as soon as symptoms starts, we start looking at how do we ring isolate people. And should the, the spread of the disease be further or be more severe, then I think hospitalization and more importantly, ring vaccination will start coming into play. Higher Health CEO, Prof. Ramne Galwali, I appreciate your time as always. Thank you very much for coming on tonight.